guys and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is rosie if not welcome back thank you so much for clicking on this video today we're going to be working on the recipe for the chipotle chicken better known as tinga um this is one of my favorite recipes to make one it's very easy and two it's so delicious so let's get started okay guys so we're gonna start doing the uh, chipotle chicken or the tinga like i mentioned earlier so i have three large chicken breasts here in this uh, pot of water i filled it three quarters of the way full um so that way it doesn't overspill when it's boiling and i have it on high right there um so that probably is going to take like around i want to say like 30 minutes um so we'll come back and check to make sure it is fully okay, cooked so while the chicken is cooking we're going to start um boiling our tomatoes so i have these roma tomatoes and they're kind of small so i'm going to use around i think they're like eight of them seven or eight so i'm just going to put them in here to boil while the chicken is cooking because we need to cook our tomatoes and then we're just gonna add them in there and let them get soft and then um i'll show you in a minute what that looks like okay guys so our chicken is done i put it in to cook for i think it was like 30 minutes at high heat and that's what it looks like so we're gonna take it out and shred it and i'll show you the next step. okay guys so what we're gonna do we're just gonna shred the chicken and we're just gonna start shredding it i'm just gonna put it here on the cutting mat or cutting board and then i'm just going to transfer it over to that plastic container um if it's, it's shredding really easily it's really falling apart because it's really nice and cooked so we're just going to do that look how easy it's falling apart so it's cooked perfect then I'm just going to continue to do that and I'll show you in a little bit what the next step is. Okay guys, so this is what the chicken um, looks like after it's being shredded. We got quite a bit, so we'll get started on the sauce. Okay guys, so now for the chipotle sauce. So my I already have here the tomatoes. Um, they were boiling. The I guess when you start to notice that the skin is peeling off, that's when they're cooked and they're really soft. So I'm just going to grab my spoon and just put them in here so i have eight tomatoes in here and then we're gonna put um i have like one fourth of an onion in here so we're gonna put that in there then we're going to put two cloves of garlic in there and then i'm also have a tablespoon of the uh, chicken bouillon so we're going to put it in there and then what makes the sauce is this chipotle sauce now i'm going to use this on marco brain and normally this is the one that i use it's i think it's better than the other ones it tastes different and this one is with the adobo sauce in there so we're just going to open this and i normally put almost all of it um let's see how much there is in here let's see that's one two three four five so i'm gonna put five in there there's still like three of them in there i'm just gonna get a little bit of the adobo sauce and i'm just gonna put it in there um if you want it to be spicy obviously you add more but i think that's going to be enough and obviously sometimes what i do is um before i put it to cook um i just taste it and see if how spicy it is if i need more then i add a little bit more chipotle if it's too spicy you could add more tomato just to make it less spicy i'm just going to put a little bit of water since the tomatoes are very um watery i'm just going to add a little bit and then we're going to blend this guys so that's what this looks like it's so good i'll try it just to make sure it's not too too spicy oh it's spicy but it's just the right perfect spice it's really good so we're gonna put this in our chicken so that's gonna be our next step 
Okay guys, so we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna put a little bit of a cooking spray in there so that way the chicken doesn't stick. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken. You see you guys, it was a lot of chicken in here and it was like just three um, chicken breasts. So after I do that, um, I just let it cook in there for a little bit, not too much. We're just gonna lower the heat because it was on high. Just put it a little bit slow and then we're gonna add our chipotle sauce. And then we're just gonna let it simmer in there for a little bit. Um, if you could tell the sauce is a little bit thick, I'm just add, I'm just gonna add a little bit water, so that way I can get a little bit more of the sauce. I would say it was probably like quarter of a cup. Just gonna mix it in there. And just let it simmer for like another five, ten minutes, just on low heat. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt, just to taste. That's probably was like a half a teaspoon or maybe a teaspoon. And you can see like it starts to bubble a little bit because it's gonna start simmering. And there you are guys. We're just gonna let it simmer for another five, 10 minutes and we'll come back to see what that looks like. Okay guys, and this is what it looks like. It smells so, so good and it tastes delicious. I tried it already. So I'm gonna be doing like half a cup of uh, serving so I'm gonna see how many uh, servings I get out of here I think half a cup is gonna be plenty um, let's see yeah half a cup is gonna be plenty because I'm gonna be pairing it with um, black beans pinto beans or um, white rice and then of course a side of veggie so let's see how many servings we get a good 11 servings out of this 11 and I'll put down here how many points that is for each half a cup okay guys and that is the recipe for my chipotle chicken I hope you guys find it easy to prepare and really enjoyed it thank you so much for watching my video I really appreciate it also, please make sure to subscribe and like my video. That would help me out a lot. And also, don't forget to hit that little bell so that way you get a notification every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.